Hello, and welcome back to MyBibleRegistration.com. I'm Minister Love, and I want to thank you for joining us here on today as we are entering lesson number 37. We're almost done, everyone, for this year's teaching. We have 42 videos we bring to you faithfully every year. Well, today, as we said, lesson number 37, and we're talking about the series, I Am That I Am. Have you ever thought about that? I am that I am. You know, God is the I am. And when God made us in his image, we are like a replica. If uh, God is love, then we should be love. God is full of joy, then we should have joy. So whatever God is, we should be replicas of that for the good of the world to bring to those that truly love uh, humanity. And so today we're going to be talking about, I am an evangelist. We're going to be talking about evangelism today. And so when we think of evangelism, we think of it in religious terms, don't we? An evangelist is someone that's go that goes out and does the great missionary work that Jesus told us to do. And they go and spread the good news. Uh, that's what evangelist means. It's, it's a messenger that has a great message about our saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ of, for what he did on the cross for you and I, that we may have an eternal life. Well, we get to be evangelists. We get to go and spread that gospel just like Jesus did. He was an evangelist. He went from cities, town, villages. He was telling everyone that would listen that he was the son of God and he was here to save us from our sins. So today, we're going to be looking at some wonderful scriptures. And the key word today is going to be evangelist. All right. So let's take a look at the very first scripture in God's word. Get your Bibles with me. And we're going to go over to Acts chapter 21. And we're going to take a look at verse 8. Acts 21 verse 8. And it reads, on the next day, we who were Paul's companions departed and came to Caesarea and entered the house of Philip, the evangelist, who was one of the seven and stayed with him. So here we have Philip mentioned in the scripture as, as this is after uh, Jesus had descended back to heaven. And so now we got Paul and Peter and James and all of them, they're already evangelists. So by them going out, spreading the gospel, guess what? They meet someone named Philip. And so Philip was one of the uh, seven that, uh, that had to be selected from after Stephen had been uh, martyred. Well, uh, Philip was one of those seven that had been chosen to be an evangelist. So he's out there now spreading the gospel about Jesus Christ. So we hear a lot about Paul and Peter now, but there are others too that were evangelists. Remember how Jesus um, sent 70 people out two by two and told them that they didn't need to take any money or script or anything like that? They were evangelists, weren't they? Well, you and I are as well. And now we can evangelize uh, on social media. They have made it now so so uh, attainable that you could evangelize over Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, uh, Zoom, so many ways that you can reach those that are looking for a relationship with Jesus Christ. They want to know uh, what is this Bible all about? Who is Jesus? Who is the Holy Ghost? But we need people, evangelists, to go and share this good news. All right, then, everyone, let's take a look at another scripture. We're going to go now to the book of 2 Timothy. Go with me to 2 Timothy chapter 4. And we're going to take a look at verse 5. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 5. And it reads, But you be watchful in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. Wow, 
So here we are with Paul giving great instructions to this young evangelist, Timothy, that he has reared up as his own child, so to speak, in the gospel message. So he's telling him, Timothy, there's going to be some afflictions. You know, when we go out spreading the gospel, there's going to be the enemy out there that don't want to hear it, that don't want to hear this good news, this message from the evangelist. So we're going to have some afflictions in our lives, but that should not deter us from being an evangelist. So that's what Paul is sharing here with Timothy. He says, now that you're an evangelist and you got this uh, theology, this teaching doctrine of Jesus uh, in you now, because remember, Timothy had this also from a, from a young age with his grandmother and mother that shared the gospel, uh, the, the word with him. And so now Paul is telling Timothy, you an evangelist now. Now you can fulfill your ministry. See, we all have a ministry. We all have a commission by Jesus to be an evangelist, to spread the gospel. There are so many gifts that God gives us, pastors, teachers, evangelists. We got healing uh, gifts. So there are so many. What is yours? Whenever you learn something in God's word, whenever you get knowledge, understanding, and wisdom, do you know you can be an evangelist? You can go share the gospel with someone else. You don't need a seminary school to attain. Just get your Bible and have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, teaching session with God the Father, Jesus Christ, our Savior, and the Holy Ghost. And you will be an evangelist as well. Well, everyone, we have one more scripture that we're talking about this year. Talking about I am. So yes, I am an evangelist. Let's take a look at Ephesians now, chapter four. And we're going to go over to verse 11, Ephesians 4, 11. And it reads, talking about the spiritual gifts. We're going to, uh, 11, and it reads, and he himself, talking about Jesus, gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Take a look at verse 12. Why did he give some of us to be apostles and prophets and evangelists? This is the reason. For the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Isn't that what we just saw with Paul telling Timothy? The reason that we've been chosen to be evangelists to continue this uh, gospel ministry work to get the word out there to those in far, far uh, uh, countries uh, that don't know who Jesus is. We have a calling on our lives to be an evangelist. So as you see there, many of us uh, could be evangelists, pastors, teachers, apostles, but no matter what that gift is, you still have an obligation to share the gospel. We're all evangelists when you come to look at it. All right then, everyone, God bless you. Thank you for being with us on this uh, week's lesson, talking about I am that I am. And so we thank you for being a follower of MyBibleRegistration.com. Just want to encourage you, get your Bible, go register your Bible today as you've been following along with us. We have a wonderful international uh, ministry where we're in Bangladesh, Malawi, Tanzania, Kenya, we're uh, all over the uh, globe now spreading the gospel and we need your help in making a cheerful donation to get uh, the help that our bishops and pastors and missionary workers are in need of because of their poor economic situation. But here in America, we could be such a great help. So get your Bible, register it today. And there is no amount that we're asking you for. Whatever you desire to give, it will be greatly appreciated. You can see on the screen there that we have the ministry in India. And so we have children that we're supporting the children's church over there as well. So God bless you all. We look forward to you being with us next week on another great lesson where we're talking about I am that I am. God bless you all. I'm Minister Love. Take care.